are looking at this holy mass. We remember on this weekend Blessed Pierre Francetti, patron saint of young people, and we ask his intercession that God in his merciful love will bless the society of St. Vincent de Paul and all young people. So let us enter into this holy mass asking God blessing and favor as we bless ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, Amen. 
Amen. Let us now listen to the word of God. Thanks be to God. be to God. Where 
the demand get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted King? And these miracles that are birthed through King? This is a carpenter, surely the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Jude and Simon. Sisters too, are they not here with us? And they were not accepted. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations, and in his own house, and he could work no miracle there. Though he cured a few sick people by laying his hands on them, he was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a wonderful day that we can celebrate this Holy Mass for all young people and especially to incorporate in our Holy Mass those who are caring in fear. So I greet you with a blessing from Almighty God this morning. And I ask Blessed Pierre Francetti to intercede for each and every one of us. My dear friends, in last week's Gospel, we see people of faith. We saw Jairus, a man of faith who came to Jesus so that his daughter be cured. So much so, his daughter died and Jesus brought her to new life. Also, we saw a woman who was hemorrhaging. She had a blood issue for 12 years and she placed her trust in Almighty God knowing that if she touched the hem of Jesus' garment, she will be healed. So last Sunday, we were greeted with people of faith. In today's Gospel, we are greeted with Jesus' own family and friends lacking faith. My dear young people, are you a person of faith or are you lacking faith? We see Jesus was expecting more from his own family and friends and he was sorely disappointed because the people who should know better didn't know better. And the people of last week's gospel who didn't know they placed their trust in Almighty God. So, are you that type of person who should know, but you are not placing your trust in God? But are you a person who do not know and you are trusting in God? Because what the reading of today's gospel is saying to us, we are to be people of faith. And if we are people of faith, we will see the signs, the wonders and miracles of God. Because the scripture was very clear. Jesus could work no miracles there because he was an he was amazed at their lack of faith. So if you or I are looking for a particular 
sign, wonder, or miracle from Almighty God, we need to exercise faith. I want you to see faith as muscles in your body. How do you strengthen the muscles in your body? You exercise it. Because if you don't exercise the muscles in your body, it will not be strengthened. So in order for us to increase in faith and grow in faith, we need to exercise faith. And how do we exercise faith? By simply trusting God, knowing that nothing is impossible for God. And with the help of Almighty God, the things that I see impossible in my life will one day be made possible. Think about Blessed Fear. Blessed Fear is a youth just like you. I go to say a youth like I, but I just remember my age. But age is only a number. Blessed Fear, a youth like you. He was considered a nerd. He was considered a person who was techy. But he was a young person of faith. And today in our church, he is blessed. So therefore, it is not what you may think about yourself. Or people may think about you. What you are to know is that you are a child of God. And being a child of God, in spite of your human condition, if you place your faith in Almighty God, you will see signs, wonders, and miracles. So therefore, you need to exercise your faith. Hence the reason why in the second reading, St. Paul says to us, With my weakness and with insult, hardship and persecution, and the agonies I go through for Christ, for it is when I am weak, I am strong. Because Paul recognized it is not our human condition, but it is placing our trust in the Lord. It is about exercising faith. And if we are exercising faith, then we will truly be strong. Because if God is for us, who will be against us? We will be like David of the Old Testament, a young person, and David, he fought Goliath. And in this life, you may have many Goliaths, you may have many giants, many difficult things you have to face in your life. But what did David say when he went out to fight Goliath? He said, the Lord is my strength. David exercised faith. And because he exercised faith, he was truly strong. And we know how that story ends. David conquered Goliath. And he conquered Goliath simply because he trusted in God. My dear young people, and all those who are looking at this live stream, or will look at it later today, would you place your trust in God? Last week's gospel, we see two examples. Those who place their trust in God, what wonderful work our Lord will for them. In today's gospel, we see that the people did not place their trust in the Lord. And therefore, the Lord could not have done great things. The responsorial self we have is very crucial in our lives. Why is it very crucial? Because many times you may feel that you are weak. 
you may feel that you will not accomplish the things that you set out to do. You may look at your human condition and you may think that you will not be great. But the responsorial psalm today, Psalm 121, it reminds us whenever we are feeling that way, we should pray this psalm. To you I lift my eyes to the heavens, and my eyes, as you look to the heavens, who will be your help? Your help will be Almighty God, God's creator of all things. And we serve a creator God. We do not serve creatures or things, but we serve the creator. And if we serve the creator who created this entire world out of nothing, and sometimes people feel like nothing. We know that God will certainly help us. Even the Blessed Virgin Mary said, the Lord looked down in my nothingness. So therefore, the Blessed Virgin Mary placed her trust in the Lord, and the Lord was able to merit great and wonderful things. So in this Mass today, in this family, if you forget everything else I have said, what you need to remember is this, that no matter who you are, or what you may think about yourself, or others may think of you, if you place your hand and your life in Almighty God, He will make you into who you are meant to be. Because our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So I urge you to this day, and I use the first line of the day's first reading. The Spirit came to me and made me stand up, and I heard the Lord speaking to me. He said, Son of man, I am sending you, and that is to be our dream. All we need to do is call on the Lord, trust the Lord. He will send His Spirit to us so that we will not have to hold our head downcast, but we can lift up our head and lift our eyes to the heaven, knowing that our help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So never look at what you can do, but whatever you can do, place it in the hands of Almighty God, and He will make you in who you are meant to be, because nothing is impossible for God. So let us listen to the voice of the Lord. Let us take heed of His word. Let us follow the example of those who have gone before us, who place their trust in the Lord and who are amazed with the sign, wonders, and miracles He can perform. So finally, let us place our trust in the Lord so that we will be amazed what God can do. Let God not look at us and be amazed at our lack of faith. But when He looks at us, He will bless us and we will be amazed because we have placed our trust in the Lord. Amen. So we have heard the word of God. We have reflected on it. And before we pray the prayer of intercession, let us confess the faith we believe in. And we are in season of ordinary time. So we use the nice thing. I 
Amen. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. <laughs> Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.